Hi, my name is Sean Mars and I'm an Applications Engineer with Hawkridge Systems. And today we're going to talk about using the Windows Performance Monitor to monitor your SolidWorks memory usage. So a lot of times you might want to come over to your Task Manager right over here and try to check out how much memory SolidWorks is using. Uh, but there's actually a more accurate tool to do this and it's called the Windows Performance Monitor. And to start this up, we're just going to go down to our start menu here. And I'm going to start typing in perfmon. And before I go ahead and accept that, I'm going to also add in a forward slash SYS. And so this will actually open up the performance monitor in a standalone window without any of the reports or data collection sets or any, any of those other options that you might have. When you first open this up, uh, you should see this. It should just be the percent processor time. And we're going to go ahead and delete that. So just select and hit delete because we're just going to monitor our SOLIDWORKS memory. So now we'll have to, we deleted that counter, so we'll go ahead and add a new counter. And from this first counters list here, we'll go up to process, and we're going to find the counter we're interested in. It is this one called private bytes. And then now we'll find our sources here, so we're going to come down to SOLIDWORKS, and you do need to have SOLIDWORKS open right now in order to find these. So we'll add that and say OK. And just from first glance here, now we can see that what the performance monitor is picking up versus what our task manager is, is a difference of about 100 megabytes. OK, so uh, the number is reporting correctly, but our graph is a little underscaled here. So let's go ahead and adjust that a bit. Uh, first, on this data tab, we're just going to change the scale. So about this fifth one down, uh, with the five zeros, it's actually, uh, we'll make it 10 to the negative six, and it'll make it so our graph is a scale of one to one megabyte. Uh, then coming over to this graph tab, we'll go ahead and add in a title. And a ver uh, title for our vertical axis as well. Oop, forgot one of those letters there. Alrighty, and then we'll also change our scale here. So we'll definitely just change this to about 2,000. Um, somewhere in the thousands is where you want to be. Uh, 1,000 is going to equal one gigabyte for this graph. So I'll say OK, and then we'll go ahead and be able to see our graph here. And uh, you know, just so we can see how this works, let's go ahead and come back over to SolidWorks, and we'll just go ahead and close all of our windows here. And so this is going to dump a certain amount of memory, uh, but there still is going to be this residual memory left up that gets built over the day. So that's actually one of those things you want to monitor. If I actually close SOLIDWORKS completely and then open it up again, then we can actually see kind of where SOLIDWORKS goes uh, when it's uh, just opening and has no files actually loaded here. So this is, looks about right, about, about 230 megabytes. Alrighty, so uh, this is a nice little graph, but we want to be able to bring it, bring it back over and over again. So what we're going to do is go ahead and do a file, save settings as, and I'll just save this onto my desktop here. Um, this is going to allow us to have this uh, little icon that we can go ahead and click on to bring this up anytime we want. So I'll save this configuration file. I can close my SolidWorks memory usage, and then now, we should have just this icon here, and anytime you come and double click this, it should open that up for you once again. Alrighty, so that's uh, how you'd use the performance monitor in Windows to uh, monitor your SolidWorks memory usage. Thanks for watching.